Hey, this is Kathy Perry, corporate energy expert. And do you ever get tired after lunch? Just that like dozy, like, oh, I've lacked energy. I don't know how I'm going to serve my residents. I've got a meeting and you're just tired. So you run to go get a soda or some caffeine to hopefully try to power you up. Well, as a former wellness trainer and wellness coach, I have a few tips, tools, and tactics that you can use to stay a little more energized in your afternoon. So go ahead and subscribe. I have lots of things on this channel just for senior living professionals. So we'll get to those tips. I have lots of things for senior living professionals on this channel, so go ahead and subscribe. Well, why are you so tired after lunch? And first of all, I'm gonna acknowledge that maybe you're so busy you haven't even had time for lunch. And that can make you drag as well. Sometimes we just power through and we work through adrenaline. That's not the healthiest way. I certainly hope you stop for at least a little bit of food during your day. But I know sometimes it's hair on fire. Well, if that's the case, you might end up in the evening then just totally crashing because you've been running on adrenaline. And because you've been running on adrenaline and cortisol, all day it also might make it hard for you to sleep at night so again i encourage you eat something during the day but say you've eaten that lunch and now you've got those afternoon you know yawns and you're sluggish and your brain's not working as well well the number one reason is that's because you're digesting your body has to take time and energy to digest. And sometimes that can take up to 50% of the energy that your body is producing just in that digestion process. So it's naturally going to power down some of your other, you know, functions as it spends a lot of energy digesting that food. So some tips that you can do are eat a lunch that's a little bit more digestible. You know, lean proteins and complex carbs are great. But when we add sugar into the mix, that starts and stops digestion and stretches the whole process out longer. So I've seen it in my own kids. One time we were skiing with my son and he skied great all morning. And then he went in and he had this giant burger for lunch and he was wiping out left and right. And finally we're like, Graham, we think maybe you should, you know, take a little time off to just, you know, rest for a little bit. But it's because he... You know, when you are digesting, even your mental functions aren't working as well. So be really thoughtful about what you are taking into for lunch or you're ordering out because you know what foods make you draggy. Sometimes it is those high carb meals, you know, the pastas and the sandwiches and the breads and the cookies and the cakes you, takes you up and then you crash. The next reason you get tired is, you know, your body just has these biological circadian rhythms and it, your body's kind of meant to rest after about eight or 10 hours of being awake. Well, that happens to generally fall pretty close to after lunchtime. So we naturally power down a bit. And we try to fight it, right? We try to do all kinds of things to fight that natural biological instinct. And you just can't always do it. You can't always fix it with a little caffeine. Well, I have a resource I'm going to post at the bottom of this with 10 tips on how to power up your afternoon. So I hope you can use that to for some of those ideas. So I encourage you to think about what foods do make you feel more tired and listening to your body a little bit more. Maybe not scheduling the most important calls or meetings of your day right after lunch, knowing that you might be a little groggy or a little tired. You know, as a keynote speaker, I can guarantee you the one spot that I like the least is that afternoon right after lunch, because I know it's not necessarily me it's just natural that we're going to be a little bit more tired. So my participants in the audience might be feeling that as well, no matter how fun and energized my session might be. So look for the resource below and um, please reach out, subscribe. If you want to schedule a strategy call, that is absolutely no charge. I will help you and your teams power up so you can serve with joy. Thanks so much for watching.